right guys so i'm on page 11 and i'm really enjoying it so far it's pretty interesting i'm already loving the main character her name is january which i found i find that super cool and then her nickname is like janny and she has a bet her how it started was really interesting and her life like took a turn for she was like had the perfect boyfriend the perfect life the perfect parent her um mom's you know survived cancer and everything but her and she had like the perfect loving dad and she learned to like love life and romanticize life so that was pretty cool and she's an author and then like one year later everything like turned upside down her father had a stroke she, she's single now she's and now right now she's living or moved to her dad's secret life house basically he basically had like a secret life and we're trying to figure out like if he was cheating or not or you know apparently there's a family business as well involved so i can't wait to learn more of that and i really like her best friend as well she's just like me she's kind of funny and i love that she doesn't like driving i find that so funny <laughs> she's like i can't wait till my license expire i love that um so i'm liking it and so far we've just met her neighbor and he's kind of grumpy so i'm like oh i'm here for the grumpiness so I think that's going to be really funny. Their first encounter was hilarious. OMG. So I'm really liking it so far. It seems like you guys did not lie to me. So it seems like book talk and booktube. Y'all might be right. <laughs> guys so i'm loving it already i'm on page 20 and so this book is grump grumpy meets grumpy so she's grumpy and he's grumpy oh and she and right now like oh i'm just loving it all the way you guys like their encounters ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. the cute little arguments i'm loving it Oh my gosh, I really love the restaurant owner and book owner, Pete. She seems so cute and lovely. And I love her accent and dialogue. It's just too cool. And oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe I'll read it to you. It says, I did what any reasonable adult woman would do when confronted with her college rival turned next door neighbor. I dove behind the nearest bookshelf. <laughs> So she learned her grumpy neighbor is actually her college rival. He also has like sold a bunch of books and it's in the bookstore that she was taking a gander at, you know, exploring. And now he has walked in. So he's like, oop, I gotta duck. I gotta hide. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We're in chapter four now and it's called The Mouth. Ooh. Ooh, you guys. Ooh. Ooh, you guys know how I am with eye contact. Ooh, and Gus apparently has like very um, powerful eye contact that like he sees through your soul. So I'm here for it. You guys know I love that. Ooh, mm -mm -mm. it says, hold on, where was it? I looked up to find Gus' dark eyes burning into me. Ooh, he's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm loving this already, guys. Like a authors, enemies to lovers, little rivalry. Ooh, and we could just, and you know, they're both like creative and deep. So, uh, this book has layers, you guys. So there's a unexpected, well. She meets someone she didn't know she was going to meet at the book club. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying not to spoil, but guys, there's layers. And, oop. 
This book club just got more dramatic. <laughs> OMG, so her first book night club, book club outing was too funny. OMG, it was hilarious. I love the Labradors and their farts. Too funny. <laughs> and just the, the tension. And then now he's offering to take her home to drive her home and obviously like their neighbors so and she's like no i'd rather uber <laughs> he's like uber <laughs> my gosh and it's raining oh and she is perfect this is too cute <laughs> Oh, now I want donuts now. Oh, gee. <laughs> Not Gus Googling her, too. Oh, gee. And then, like, the back and forth, them asking each other, putting many questions back and forth with the question. Mm, too cute. Oh, gee. And the fact that it wasn't his book that they were discussing at the meeting. Hilarious. Oh, not that one night. Ooh. So Gus says, oh yeah, I remember you. It wasn't that long ago. And plus, that one night. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this book, you guys. Book talk did not lie. Booktube did not lie. I did underestimate the book and I feel really bad. Oops. But I do that a lot, so what you gonna do? I did not know it was going to be this good. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. <sighs> I should have read this sooner. Oh my MG, this is so good. Mm -mm -mm. Getting me all hot and hot and bothered. <laughs> oh, that sounds so cool. So, Gus done challenged. January. That's such a cool name. They both have really cool names, by the way. But secondly, he done challenged her to write a literary fiction. Ugh. And he's gonna write a happily ever after. Ooh, that's so cute. Mm -mm -mm. That really sounds so exciting. And oh, I can't wait to see who wins the challenge. And I tell you guys, this book has layers. It has layers, you guys. We went to a cult interview to now <laughs> on page 95. He done left her stranded. I'm dead. This is too funny. Mm -mm -mm. I'm enjoying this so much. I'm reading it so quickly, eating it up. It's just too funny to me. Alright guys, I'm still reading. Emily Henry's Beach Read, my goal, if I did not tell you guys, I'm so silly, but my goal is to try to finish the book in a day. This is the last day in July, it's July 31st, so I'm trying to finish this by midnight, and it's currently... five thirty. so I think I can do it. I still have my beach thing playing in the background i'm really loving this book you guys so if you're like a person that had this on this their tbr but you're like i don't know if it's gonna be good or not you know i don't know if i should trust the hype believe me trust the hype it's so good um the writing is really quirky cute i'm really loving the characters it has some layers to it it's not just like a flat romance it does have some layers to it it's, it's getting darker you got grumpy and grumpy i guess um chemistry is burning and plus they had past chemistry so it's just i'm here for it it's so cute i'm really loving this carnival scene and i love just um the real life references for example like starbucks um all the different music references like the Bee Gees, mariah carey i'm loving it um so yeah i'm loving like the real life 
references and i just i'm lo really loving this book y'all i would love to see this as a movie i think she's just adorable they both kind of helping each other kind of feel inspired again to write and especially since they both have different genres i think it's really fun and right now she's at this carnival and they're yeah, and that's the other cool part. They're both writing opposite genres, the other person's genre, which is so cool. And so he took her to interview like um like a cult situation and like a suicide situation and she took him to a carnival. So it's pretty cool. I'm loving it. it's getting the kind of spicy sp uh, spicy <laughs> spicy and it's just really adorable the tension between them is just heating up and it's just like a slow burn and i'm here for it so let's continue right now i'm on page 110 and i put a purple sticky note where halfway through the book is I calculated it and everything so that's my motivation right now just to get to the purple sticky note and then after that it would just be to finish the book so but yeah this is gonna be my last book of the month so hopefully I can finish wish me luck <laughs> garden scene <laughs> getting spicy the tension is building The beach playing in the background guys I think that adds to the ambiance I love the beach in the background I've been listening to it all day I'm really enjoying this book like I've been saying you guys and I really love learning about Gus backstory he's deeper than she thought he was she's um, a person who assumes and misjudges people really quickly but i think that adds to the story so yeah and their cute little outings and dates are so just adorable Ooh, giving me the gushies sentence. I love that. It's too cute. Plus, I love Young's Gus. Like, back story when he was younger when he said that he had his bags packed. I thought that was so cute. At his young age, he was already planning and being a dreamer. Too cute. He said, I had, I had my comic books and my granola and I was prepared for that train out of here. books that I read if they communicate with letters or text messages emails Ooh, I'm here for it so they're like writing and have little papers in the window that they can see oh it's everything mm -mm. yeah not the driving movie then the lady saying this is a family <laughs> Flashlight. 
It's like, why is she peeping in people's cars? <laughs> country rodeo dancing so that was really cute and they didn't know how to dance that was hilarious but now she's getting kind of anxious so she ran away or ran to her car and he chased her to the car and was like you can tell me anything oh, gee. <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna try to finish this book i think right now it's like midnight but hopefully i go finish it by like four o'clock even though it's the next day, I'm still going to count it as an August, uh, as a July read for July 31st, so, yeah. But yeah, the tension is building, Ooh, and I can't, but, it's, but January is kind of getting like overwhelmed, so, I don't think girl, I tell you. with Beach Read and what a thrilling book OMG so romantic is multiple love stories in one uh, I love that they're authors I like their bargain their um, competition I'm just here for it OMG is so cute I love Gus I love January together their banter their connection their vibe together oh it's just everything mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. this is so romantic oh. page 302 mm -mm -mm. page 303 Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't mind reading this every summer. This is just adorable. <laughs> These pesky flies, y'all. So irky. gosh and the fact that she's saying this omg i was thinking this the whole book oh my goodness and now she's saying it she's admitting ah. oh my goodness that's everything ah. <laughs> page 303 Mm -mm -mm. Sentence after sentence. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Gus is just, I'm gushing over Gus. Mm -mm -mm. S E G. And the setting is perfect. Oh, oh gee. Oh, 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 how cute. Okay, guys, it got nine months later. Mm -mm -mm. 
Definitely getting five stars in that whole period. That was so good. Cute. Aww. Five stars, baby. I definitely feel bad. I really feel embarrassed for um, underestimating this book. I didn't know it was going to be this good. My apologies. I can't wait to <laughs> I can't wait to read more from Emily Henry. This definitely took my breath away. I loved all the characters in here. The deeper messages in here. I loved the, that they were authors and the books and the bookstores. I loved everything. I loved the settings. Perfect summer book. OMG, it just gave me all the good feels. It was so funny, the banter. It had me cracking up a lot of the times. <laughs> the bakery scene had me. This is probably my favorite part. Mm -mm -mm. The eye contact. You guys know I'm a stickler for eye contact. And like Gus eyes was a major part. And his staring was like a major part of the book. So mm. five out of five for me, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.